I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up for the two of you. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Libra, recent past energy between you and your person. Five of Wands, and it's it's um, paired with the Five of Swords. Now, this Five of Wands, it can actually refer to competition. This could be career or work or family romance. Now, sometimes it does refer to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer and you can be successful, but you have to try just to see results. So when this card appears, the need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in a place that's right for you. You may be thinking of making a career change when you get the Five of Wands in a reading. But just know that you can be successful if so. Now it's with this Five of Swords. With the Five of Swords, you can find yourself with some mixed feelings. Could be about a person, could be about life, maybe even a few people in particular. Don't ignore these feelings, but don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either. And I say this because... This could actually ruin the things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. So think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. So this recent past energy, Libra, Five of Wands, clarified by this Five of Swords. Yeah, so... Uh, what I'm getting is that for some of you, you were dealing with someone who, who brought a lot of competition into the connection. And it made you feel like you had to struggle for dominance or just made you feel like you had to fight just to stay on top of the connection. Or you had to fight just to be with this person. Yeah. They brought a lot of undesirables into the mix. If it wasn't um, other men or other women, it could have been of unwanted family members, um, unwanted friends. We know what that's like to have those type of people trying to get into the relationship because usually they can, um, cause the connection to fall apart. Yeah. When you have other people, other family members putting in their say so about what's going on in your relationship and your friends trying to pick you two apart. So, unwanted, um, put it this way, what I'm picking up for most of you, it's romantic rival, romantic rivals. Yeah, they brought a lot of other men or other women into the mix, um, romantically. Now, this made you mad, because the Five of Swords, the card that's below the word pass, this man, he's really angry. It's about, Five of Swords, is a, it can be about um, conflict, conflict. Uh, could be, you could have been ready to fight, fight your person, or maybe fight off all the other people that your person brought into the connection. But you were, you were very pissed about this. Yeah, you probably didn't like the way your person handled it. Because if you look at the Five of Swords, the card above the word pass, um, this one man, he's standing off to the side. If you can see him, that's your person. He's smiling and grinning because he's got all these people fighting over him. And um, this type of energy, it... It fed your person's ego. It helped to boost his ego. So, yeah. Anyway. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. 
Well, we got this King of Cups ends with the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the King of Cups, it speaks of a balanced male, feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, he'll indicate an actual person in your life. Usually, this will represent a live person, a very kind and loving individual. This person could have hair. <sighs> this person could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. But it could go either way. Just know you're supported by the universe in the way you've seen and unseen when you get the King of Cups in a reading. It's all about kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, when you get the King of Cups in a reading. Now, it's with the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, it actually points to necessary efforts. You could have a lot on your plate that you need to accomplish. Dedication to the task is going to be important. But if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a very, very hard work period. Now, this doesn't have to be negative, but you do have to be prepared for it. So, coming up, Libra, King of Cups, clarified by this Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah, your person, um, they know that they, they make you mad when they do this. They bring romantic rivals into the mix. They know you're unhappy now. So here they come. They're coming to, they're, it looks like for a lot of you, your person will be reaching out to you. King of Cups reaches out, being warm, being friendly, tolerant, um, wanting to offer love. It's about love, kindness, and compassion. Like I said, when you get the King of Cups. And they're, they're um, expressing to you that they want to work on this. They're showing, they could be telling you that they want to uh, put in a lot of work, work, um, just to make things right. Yeah, they want to work on this, Libra. They got love for you. Yes, they do. King of Cups is, what's in the King of Cups cup? It, it's love. Yeah, I know a lot of you are saying, oh, I don't believe that. Well, that's what it's... That's what it's showing here. Your person does have love for you. And they'll, they'll be reaching out to you. And they'll be wanting to work on this. Yeah, for a lot of you. Okay? So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got the Fool. And it's with the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Fool is actually an indicator of newness in one form or, or another. In many ways, it does indicate the purity, the open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. We all know that children, they're trusting, and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. Now, this card is actually a positive card in the deck, but as you can see in the picture, it's going to be important to take time to be sure you're looking where you're going, trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown. That's one thing, but if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a big mistake. Yeah, because that's all blue water below him. The full card, the card above the word challenge, looks like the Pacific Ocean. So, let's move on over. No, 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 let's talk about what's below the Fool card. It's clarified with this Five of Pentacles. Now, with this card, um, it can point to a time when life is feeling less than secure, but the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when you need it from forces seen and unseen. You could feel alone. You could start to feel that way, but just know you have the capacity to change that. So reach out. You could feel like you're being left out in the cold, as though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. But just realize this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. And just remember, the wise thing to do is, if you need help is to go out and ask for it. 
because the help that you need, it will come. Yes, so your challenge, Libra, the fool clarified by five of pentacles. So like I said, your person, for a lot of you, they'll be reaching out to you. Um, with a lot of emotions. They're going to be expressing that they want to work on this. Yeah. And it looks like for some of you, you want to jump right on in. You want to you wanna take a leap of faith and believe what this person is telling you. Because the fool, fool card is about taking a leap of faith, being a risk taker, just going for it. But you're not facing that King of Cups. You see, the King of Cups is next to, next to the Fool card. You're going in the opposite direction. So for a lot of you, you want to jump back on in there. But, but, there's a but. But there's a Five of Pentacles. It's saying that you want to jump right on in there. Because they're reaching out to you, being loving and warm and compassionate and telling you how much they want to really work hard to make things right. But you, you're feeling that it's if you jump right on in there again, you're just going to start to feel less than secure in the connection again. You're going to start to feel left out in the cold by your person again. So part of you wants to, wants to go, you want to jump right back on in there. But then the other part of you is saying it's just going to, if you jump right on in here, it's just going to make you feel unhappy again. Because the Five of Pentacles can be about just not, not being happy in the connection. So yeah, you do want to go, but you don't. So we move on over. And we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. Ten of Swords, and it's with the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Swords is actually a signal to be careful about where you put your trust. When the Ten comes up in relation to, to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable. Well, if you look at the picture of the Ten of Swords... The card above the word outcome, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, try to keep in mind whenever a door closes, another door opens, you're being guided to a situation better for you. Trust yourself. Trust the universe. Now, it's with the Ace of Pentacles. With this card, you could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And these will be very positive new beginnings. So you could start to feel optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going well. You could be starting something new very soon. This could be in the area of work, or it could be personally. But either way, when you get the Ace of Pentacles, it, it's a really good thing. Yeah, I could talk more about this Ace of Pentacles. Um, if you look at the Ace of Pentacles, the card that's below the word outcome, this huge pinnacle is sitting in the forest, and there's a squirrel right next to it. It looks like it probably rained nonstop for maybe three or four days, or maybe one or two days, nonstop. And the, the rain had finally stopped. The squirrel came out from hiding from the rain, and he's like, wow, a new day. Yeah, that's you. That you're a Libra, there's some type of new day that's trying to, um, trying to happen for you. Yeah, and it brings about several new beginnings on different levels. Because the squirrel, he's, he's realizing he, he don't, he can't find his whole footprints anywhere. They're, they're gone, the rain washed them all away. So he's trying to figure out, should I make some new footprints by running up the pinnacle? Or should I make some new footprints running to the right, running to the left, or maybe just straight forward into the camera? So yeah, your outcome tent of swords clarified by this ace of pinnacles. 
So yeah, like I said, part of you wants you you want to go back. You want to jump right on, uh, on, jump right back into your person's arms. But you know about this person. You know. You know they need their the type that needs their ego fed by having other people into the mix. And you know how angry this this always makes you. You're feeling if you go back, you're just going to be unhappy. Five of Pentacles, it's about being unhappy. So, you, you're just not trusting that the connection is going to be stable. That's what the Ten of Swords is telling me. And it looks like for a lot of you, you're going towards a new beginning. You could have a lot of um, opportunities coming coming at you now, and if not now, pretty soon with the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, it's going to rain. It's going to rain, um, Libra, just for you. That's what it seems like, because there's so many fresh new starts trying to happen for you. So yeah, you're not trusting the connection is stable, and it looks like you're going towards some new beginnings. Maybe you already know about these new beginnings. Maybe it's a person. Maybe it's someone else. And for some of you, it's a new beginning in life. Maybe it's a project. Maybe it's um, just towards a new situation. But whatever it is, it's going to open up a whole world to you with the Ace of Pentacles. So that is the reading that I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen for the two of you in the next few, in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. And with all the crazy in the news, hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Libra reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because, once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So, Libra, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.